If you've been following Formula 1 recently, you may have heard some teams, especially Aston Martin, complaining how the new regulations for 2021 have damaged the cars who have low rake. But what is low rake? Somehow I don't think it's just a rake that's really, really low to the ground. So that brings us to the question, what are low rake and high rake F1 cars? Rake is the difference in height between the front and rear ride height. In 2021, the Red Bull F1 car has what is called high rake, which when you look at the car from side on means that there's quite a large gap between the bottom of the car at the back and the track. The Mercedes and Aston Martin cars, however, have a lower rake angle, which is the opposite, so there's a smaller gap at the back compared to the Red Bull. So what's the difference? Well, a high rate car will generate more downfalls with its floor than a low rate car with the same floor area. This happens due to the space between the floor and track increasing as you go further back along the car. This increase means that air pressure decreases and therefore air coming along the car will rush to the low pressure area. This is how downforce is generated and so the car will be sucked to the ground more effectively. This means that if you have a low rate car with a smaller increase in track to car gap at the back, a larger surface area will be needed on the floor to generate the same amount of downforce, and we don't get as much low pressure generated. This is why the Mercedes cars have had long wheelbases in recent years, as they are known for running low floor cars, so to generate that same amount of downforce, they need that long floor. At this point, I wouldn't blame you for thinking, why don't all cars run high rake, as you can generate the same amount of downforce for less floor area. It's because the advantage of a low rate car is that it will generate downforce in a more aerodynamically efficient way, because with high rake the back is sticking up higher into the air, and with low rake the airflow is better as the car won't be that high up, so the air will flow over the car more easily. Also its centre of gravity will be lower, which helps with the performance in the corners and tyre degradation. However the car will need to be longer and therefore it will need to be heavier. Due to the 2021 regulations reducing the floor surface area by cutting out a triangle at the back, it means that if there isn't a good seal at the edge of the floor, then you will lose any more downforce generated by the larger floor surface area. So therefore, the cars with high rate will be lighter, and due to the fact that low rate cars can't create a good seal due to the new regulations, they'll probably create more downforce as cars like Mercedes will feel like they're using a floor the same size as Red Bull without using the high rate concept. And that's all you need to know about rake on Formula 1 cars. Thank you very much for watching, and bye bye.